think of alternative and renewable energy sources. David, you think of harvesting energy from the solar power, wind, and hydroelectricity. However, we have created a um, compost harvesting mechanism called compost in watts. We are able to harvest energy from electricity in watts from compost in the future. Uh, so basically, we'd like to introduce ourselves. So I'm Phil, and I worked on a lot of the business side of things. I'm Smart, and I was like the building of the website. I'm Rita, I did a bit of the hardware and the social media. So the problem that we're trying to solve is that there's too much food being wasted right now. Uh, a lot of it, like a lot of our compost and a lot of our food, sometimes at dinner time, doesn't get eaten. Like it's Sometimes in my house, if we're having vegetables or something for dinner, not everyone wants to eat that. <laughs> uh, so we're just trying to lessen the food waste, and not necessarily lessen it, but uh, actually use it for something instead of uh, just going to the landfill. Our solution: we have developed a product that will be able to use excess food waste that you have and convert into energy in watts. Uh, so our product. Our smart compost bin uses the microbial fuel cell technology to convert organic waste, which is our food, uh, into electrical power. It combines, well, our so-called pleasant visual design, which was something that we were planning on, and creates a small amount of voltage. Um, when the electrical uh, potential of the compost is exhausted, the compost can be used as a fertilizer for a garden or whatnot, because compost is a very effective fertilizer. And uh, how is the benefit of our community? Benefits. We save food from being wasted as spent pleasing for your friends after the electric electrical potential is used and less of food wasted and reducing it. So basically, like once the bacteria uh, can be used off the electricity with full potential, you just simply lift the lid take out the compost, put it in like your garden or your plant, I guess, and it'll, so that way you're not like wasting it, like it's still not going anywhere, it's like a uh, Our consumer takeaway is that it provides a cheap alternative to whatever uh, power grade electricity that we have, like things that you buy from the city, I guess. So it gives you emergency electricity if you really need to charge your phone or for a fish tank air pump because you don't want to be blowing in that for like a two hour power outage. Like, uh, it also lets you reuse the smelly compost that you have around your house instead of letting it go to waste and just decompose. The technology behind it. So, bacteria need energy to survive in the same way humans need food to live. Bacteria get its energy in a two step process. The first step requires the removal of electrons from some sorts of organic matter, and the second step consists of giving, giving those electrons to something that will accept them, such as oxygen or nitrogen. If certain bacteria are grown under this anaerobic condition, which means like no air, um, they can transfer electrons to a carbon electrode. The electrons then move across a wire under the load to the cathode, where they combine with the protons. When these electrons flow from the anode to the cathode, they, do not, they generate current and voltage to make electricity. So, our target audience would be uh, schools, homeowners, food banks, restaurants, and hotels, condos, and apartments. All of these uh, things have in common is that they have, they have a lot of food that's being wasted, especially in schools, because I've seen personally there's a couple kids who just don't eat their apple and just throw it in their compost bin. So at least then the schools might be able to dump whatever's in their compost bin into maybe a larger version of our product to create some electricity that can be used if there's a power outage or something that goes on in school. Because the high school that is closest to me right now, they don't do anything, they do everything electronically now. So if their power goes in, they're basically like, they don't do anything for that day. So something like that could really help them. Our competitors. There's no company that has thought of or has patented this project that turns compost into energy, 
However, there are microbial cell users which are blood to energy. Yeah, um, we have the first use compost. Uh, so our manufacturing cost is broken down like this. So the electrodes, like when we make them, we just use some graphite and connect it and just put it in the soil and that's going to work. But if we want to create like a lot of electricity, we probably need uh, good ones, which would cost around $15 each, like the ones that they use in microbial cells. Our acrylic casing costed around $13 and the rest is just created by the customer. With the, man with the manufacturing cost being $22.10, things such as labor and shipping costs will make it cost more. Labor cost will be $5 for each model and shipping cost will be another $5, bringing the cost to $33.10. Finally, our company would also like to make 15% profit off our sales, therefore bringing our final price to $38.70. That's a trick. And uh, here's a question to explain our marketing plan. So what we would like to do is reach out to students and schools to use our product because in schools it really does start with the students, especially in my school, I know because I'm in the Eagle Club, and we really like to put it out in schools and try to, because as I feel said, there are a lot of students who just throw out their apples or vegetables in the compost bins. And we'd also like to go to big name corporations like Home Depot, Canadian Tire, and to market our product because there are a lot of do, uh, people who would like to do it themselves there who go there. And we would also like to go and have advertisements and TV or radio advertisements because a lot of people do maybe when they're listening in the car or even if they're using something like Spotify which does have a lot of advertisements we where we can market our product. Going on, uh, we would like to manufacture this product in a much larger scale. Uh, this means that we would have prop products for restaurants and uh, generate a lot more compost to use more compost for more electricity. We'd also like to have our product to be more publicized, so a lot more. So we made a website using Mozilla Thimble, and that's the link. You guys would like to look at it. It basically just explains everything about our product, uh, us, the team members, and our building process, and everything that went into making it. So it's a uh, insightful website. So, uh, in conclusion, we'd like to thank you, Justice, for listening to our pitch and uh, taking the time to maybe. Think about investing in a renewable source. Um, we'd also like to thank Steel Labs for giving us the opportunity to make this product. And uh, yeah, that's it. It's generating 1.2 volts. And this is not too much, but for the size, it's, it's quite a bit, I must say. Also, we're not really, we didn't really get composted. Like, for this, so we ended up using soil, and the bacteria in the soil still managed to create electricity. So, this was like our very first prototype. <coughs> and 